James Eric. As always, I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make homemade split pea soup. Now, this is a great recipe, and I don't want you guys to be intimidated. It's very hard to screw up, and it's very easy. What you need to do is take that leftover ham bone from the holiday ham and a little bit of leftover uh, ham buy a bag of split peas, only cost you a couple bucks, carrot, celery, onion, we got some small diced uh, potatoes, some bacon, uh, some chicken stock, that's about it. It all cooks in one pot right on your uh, stove top and it's absolutely delicious. It's going to fill the house with a delicious aroma and everyone's going to be real impressed and you're even going to have some leftovers to serve the next day. So stick around, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. Alright, so I got my Dutch oven. You could do this in an instant pot or a slow cooker. But I got this new uh, Dutch oven and I really like cooking on it. So I put a little bit of olive oil and I got around four slices of bacon that I just chopped up. This is going to add a little bit of flavoring and it's also going to give us a little bit of bacon fat to cook the vegetables in for this soup. So we just want to kind of crisp this up for a little bit. Oh, I love the smell of bacon. Alright guys, it's been around five minutes. You can see that bacon is nice and crispy. This is perfect. I'm going to remove this with a slotted spoon and put it on a paper towel. We'll kind of save that and add to the soup at the very end. So. Let me get this out and we'll be back in a minute. All right guys, so I've taken out all the bacon pieces. You can see a little bit of bacon in there, a little bit of fat. This is gonna add some delicious flavor. Now what I'm gonna do here, I just, I didn't have a ham bone. I bought this, you could just get ham hocks. Most of your uh, grocery stores or butcher uh, can accommodate that. So this is just a little one here. I'm just gonna throw it in here for a few minutes. I wanna get a little bit of that, more of that fat from the ham bone here to also kind of get mixed with this before we saute the vegetables. So just like that. I'm just going to give it a minute or two. Now if you don't have a ham bone, you don't have to use a ham bone. You can still do this soup. If you can get some ham, if you don't have a ham obviously, a ham bone, you don't have ham, go see if you can buy one of those really thick ham steaks that have a little bit of a bone in it because that bone is going to add a little bit of a flavor to the soup stock when you simmer this. So so just like this, I'm just going to give it a few minutes. We'll turn it over. See, so just kind of crisp up that skin a little bit and add a little bit of flavor. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, just like this here, I'm just flipping it over, stirring it around in that little bit of that fat. And we're just going to try to add a little bit of flavor. So I'll give this another minute or two. We'll remove it and then we'll get busy with the rest of the soup. All right guys, that's about it. I just wanted to kind of add a little bit of flavor here. So I'm gonna remove this now. We're gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna add some carrots, some celery, and some onion that I've chopped up. Now I'll leave the exact measurements for everything down in the video description. And see now this, the bacon pieces that we fried in here with a little bit of olive oil, that just adds more flavor. The more flavor we can get into this soup, the better. So we're gonna just give this a few minutes. Scrape it on the bottom, you can see all the little fat particles and everything. It's gonna get soaked up in these vegetables. Oh man, okay. I'm gonna avoid adding any salt because the ham has salt. But what I am gonna do, do a little bit of ground black pepper in here. All right guys, it's been a few minutes. Bear in mind now, we don't have to cook this completely. It's gonna be simmering for around an hour and a half. And these are cut into very small pieces. So we just wanna kinda give it a little head start here. So now this is an optional thing, but we really like it. We took a couple potatoes, diced them up very small. What this does is add a little bit of more texture to the soup and gives it a little bit of uh, 
I don't know, kind of stretches it a little bit. And I really don't need an excuse for potatoes. I think it's going to thicken up a normal watery soup. Because as these potatoes, we cut them so small as they break down, they're going to kind of help thicken the base of the soup. All right. Next, we're going to add chicken broth. What we're going to add here is a total of eight cups. Now, I have some here that I made with some uh, better than bouillon, which definitely works in a pinch. And then I bought one of these. You can also buy just two of these. Uh, these are 32 ounces. We're going to pour that in. This was reduced sodium, which I always recommend using because you can always add salt. And this ham bone is definitely going to put some salt into this. So you just want to be careful. That's why I haven't done any salt. We can taste it at the end. We can always add the salt, but you cannot take it out. And you don't want to spend all this time and effort just to have a really overly salty soup. Now I'm going to add that ham bone back because we want this to simmer. Just plop that right in the center. I got some diced up ham that we're going to put in here. And this is already pre-cooked, but it's going to warm up and get more tender. I have one teaspoon of dry oregano we're going to add to this soup. And... I got some fresh thyme. I took around four or five of the branches, tied them together. We're just going to throw that in. But let me give this a good stir first. That way that ham bone, and this will be easy to fish out when we're done. Are the split peas. And I just, uh, make sure you uh, put this in a colander, rinse them off. Make sure there's no little pebbles or rocks. Sometimes you experience that. You can soak these overnight, <clears throat> but I found it's really not necessary if you're going to let it simmer for an hour, hour and a half. It'll get nice and tender, just like so. So let me get all this out here, stir this in. Now we're going to bring this up to a simmer. Let it simmer for a few minutes. Then I'm going to put the cover on it, but I'm going to leave it a little lopsided, so a little think and escape and we're just going to let this simmer on kind of uh, medium low heat for around an hour to an hour and a half we want those peas time to kind of soften up so I'll let this go I'm going to turn it up just a little bit get bring it to a simmer we'll be back in a second I'll show you how it looks like all right guys so I waited around 10 12 minutes this came to a nice simmer so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down to low and we're just going to give it some time here, around an hour, hour and a half. Let those um, peas kind of get nice and cooked. We want those potatoes to cook down, the carrots, everything, some seasoning from that ham bone. I want to put a cover on it, but I'm just going to kind of leave it a little bit open. I'm not going to close it completely. And yeah, reduce the heat to a low simmer. We'll let this go for at least an hour, probably all the way up to an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes. Don't go too far. Come every 15, 20 minutes. Give it a good stir. Take a look at it, and we'll go from there. I'm going to go have a drink. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, since I got around an hour and a half to wait for that soup to finish, time for a drink review. This is a Terrapin Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia. Hops in beer may be closer than they appear. It says on the top. This is called uh, Depth perception 9.1 percent alcohol oh my goodness haven't had a real hoppy one in a while so that's what i'm having this is my daughter ava grace hey. and my son kyle hello now ava grace is trying another one of the clubhouse coolers and this is uh let's see blue raspberry no high fructose corn syrup naturally source uh sweeteners and flavors so that's nice, and they've got a lot of vitamins in there, and I don't think it's got a lot of sugar. So that is good for Ava Grace. And then Kyle went with me to the store earlier today, and we were checking out, and they have a big cooler of drinks. 
and lo and behold, a new Mountain Dew flavor. This is called Fruit Quake. Dew with a blast of artificial fruit cake flavor. I don't know if Kyle's ever had fruit cake, but uh, not one of my favorite things. Sure, not fruit cake Mountain Dew. <laughs> but Hopefully who knows? Like that, that's what yeah. Kyle's had. Hopefully you like that one. All right. I'll open that up for you. And this one, by the way, if he hasn't told you yet, is blue raspberry for a clubhouse. Blue food. raspberry. And let me open this. Yeah. It's got a little, okay. well, a little sports bottle. You just pull that off. That's a sports bottle? Yeah, because you pull it up. Now you can drink it out of that. That's how it works. Okay. Yeah. But it's All a sports right. bottle. Okay. Depth perception. Oh, it smells interesting. Okay. Have you had fruitcake before? Smell like fruitcake? I fruit don't cake? know. Maybe. It's yeah, like this dry cake kinda. made of fruit that a lot of people give out during the holidays. I think it's got like a shelf life of like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's not my thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure this is probably a little bit more flavorful than actual fruitcake, but, <laughs> but who knows. Nice head. Nice Kind of amber color. All right, guys, cheers. Cheers to our viewers. Hey, guys, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. We're going to have some delicious uh, <clears throat> split pea soup. Super easy to make. You pretty much saw me. Everything's in one pot here, and it's absolutely delicious. Nice and creamy, hearty, especially this time of year around the holidays when it's cold outside. All right, let's give it a sip and tell them what we think, okay? Oh, well, not as hoppy. Okay, there it is. There's a little bit of sweetness there to offset the hoppiness. Still hoppy, but I like it. It's a good balance. Kind of like a tangerine lemon orange flavor vibe on the sweetness. Oh, but it's very good. Okay. Ava Grace, blue raspberry. What do they call it? Clubhouse coolers. What do you think? Yeah, it's very... Uh it's very like, it tastes like there's a, some sort of, yeah, it's really good. There's, it tastes like, if it makes sense, it tastes like the, like a blue color, of, like the like blue. A blue color. Like a blue, okay, blue like raspberry. Like a blue raspberry, it tastes yeah. like bluish. Okay. But it's good. It's good, okay. Would you have it again? Yep. It's well, there good. you go, guys. All right, and now we're really curious, Kyle. Mountain Dew, what do they call it? Fruit, fruit cake? Fruit, fruit quake. quake, not cake. Quake, like an earthquake. Okay, how's it taste? Uh, I can't say I'm the biggest fan. It just kind of <laughs> tastes like fruit punch with, but worse. I, I think they made a fruit punch one. And it tastes like fruit punch with maybe a little bit of like holiday, like maybe cloves almost. A little bit of cinnamon I taste I think in there. But kind of that holiday flavorings. You taste the cinnamon, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of clovey. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of artificial stuff going on in here. I'm sure it doesn't say. But, you know, Mountain Dew, I have to give them credit. They've been going crazy with some of these flavors. And uh, some of them have turned out really good. Kyle really likes. Others, probably not so much. But would you have that again? Mm, or would maybe. you prefer a regular Mountain Dew? It may just taste like fruit punch. If I really wanted fruit punch, I'd probably get an actual <laughs> fruit okay. punch. Okay. Total sugar is 10 grams. We're See, good. that's very low. Ava probably knows Except that there's 40 much. calories. Well, that's okay. 40 calories is good. All right, guys, we're going to go enjoy this. we got around an hour and a half or so till that sauce, uh, or sauce, till the soup thickens up, gets nice and creamy. It's going to be absolutely delicious. We're going to enjoy these. We'll be back in a little bit. Check on the soup. We'll see you. Cheers. Cheers again. Cheers to our viewers. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. All right, guys. It's been around an hour and a half. I'm sorry. My voice is going. <laughs> I've been fighting the flu for the last few weeks. But you're on the better end of it now. No, I'm on the better end. I feel fine. Okay. Oh, look at this. See it how it's so uh, thickened up a little bit? Okay, let's get that. Uh, Should we give it a little stir? Look at yeah. that. I just want to get the... Oh, some... look at that big ham bone. Yeah, right here. Now, look. You could take that out, shred the meat. I told him to leave it in though when we we'll take it out if you want to see it but I want to put it back in and leave it oh, in the fridge that way because it's just gonna the, the flavor and here's oh, the time right here take the time we'll out take this out let me yeah. use my little tongs here yeah here we go. take that out okay okay so this is the time we need to take a taste 
Oh. And then if we need to add some salt or some pepper. Okay, here I'm gonna take a taste. Don't get me on camera yet. I'm not okay, ready to make okay. it. No, I'll just I'll just tell you if it's good or not. Okay. It looks good. Some people mm. blend it. Some... Oh my gosh, this is delicious, okay, Eric. Hang on. Give me that. This hang is on. really good. Okay, there's a little bit Ooh. for me. Hang on. It's hot. Ooh, so hot. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so okay, good. You know what? This, wow. Wow. A lot of a smoky flavor. Look, my par, my my bar of like what's good soup was always uh, pea soup Andersons. Yeah. I think this is right up there with it, don't you? I mean, this is good. No, it's really good. This is really good. The only All thing right. you gotta do is add the bacon, huh? Oh well, hang on. Let's oh. grab the bacon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. This is so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And those potatoes being diced up real small, minced, I guess you'd call it. That actually really helps thicken this naturally without adding like baking powder or cornstarch, you know. So I really like the whole potato thing. I think it just adds to the flavor. Now let's go ahead and add this bacon. Can we just dump it in? Yeah, dump it Look in. Look at that. Mmm. Oh shoot, <laughs> hang on, I might need a free one hand. All right, oh, look at that. Bacon, who doesn't love bacon? And you wanna add that at the end, right? Cause yeah. you don't want it to get soggy and mushy. Exactly, stir it in good. Look at that, oh my gosh. I just told Eric I'm gonna be uh, doubling this. I'll be making a batch tomorrow just because I don't think we're gonna be able to get enough of this for a while. And we have snow coming, so yeah. this is gonna be nice. All right, guys, we'll be back to sample this in a second. All right, here we are. I'm sorry, my voice is going, but I've been fighting the cold and the flu <laughs> for the last week or so. But look at this. Wow. What do you think, Monica? It looks delicious. We still got that ham bone in there, but... Well, let's that, leave it. It's going to yeah. just... Oh, it's steaming up a little okay. bit. Okay. Oh, I have another there you go. piece of... Uh time here. Let's get that out of there. No, take that out. Okay. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Wow, look at this. Man. Let's get some... Look at that. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We'll let it cool. I thought it looks good. Yeah, it does. Alright, so that's going to be... We'll put that for Kaya. We'll let that cool a little. Yeah, let that... Because uh... he will not want it hot. Oh boy. Oh, it smells so good and smoky. <clears throat> it does. Oh, perfect, perfect time of year when your voice sounds like mine. <laughs> yeah. And you need some nourishment, but you can't eat a lot of solid food. This is uh, the perfect thing to make. Wow. Not the most uh, good looking soup. On no, the onset, but once you try it, man. There we go. All right, there we are, guys. We'll be back in a second. Welcome back. I'm here with my wife, Monica, my Hi. son, Kyle. Wow, my voice. <clears throat> he is getting better. This Winters of, in Wisconsin. Yeah, I don't he know. He was way came. sick before. Now he's like. Been better. I feel fine, voice. but my voice obviously doesn't. Okay. Jeez, you sound dark. Yeah. All right. Give it a good stir so it's cool because it is it's hot. Very it's hot. Blow on it. Oh man, it smells so smoky. And it delicious. does smell good. Cow, just take a little bit of liquid and blow on your bite. Right. Steaming it. Ooh, it just is take a steaming. bite and then let it be out for a minute and just blow on it and then you'll be okay. Mmm. Take your bite out of the soup bowl. This actually is not as hot you as it, you would think. Wow. Mmm, so good, so smoky. And I think the potatoes mm. add that creaminess, the thickness to the soup that you this really so need, good. I think. This is so mm. good. Wow. And oh, the smoky this is, flavor yeah. from that ham bone. And look, you don't need to use a ham bone, but... If you can, I would highly recommend it. What do you think, Cal? It's Ooh. good. It's hot, it's hot though. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's got some smoky ham flavor, mm -hmm. huh? Mm. That is so good. Best. You okay? Make this recipe. You cannot go wrong. The bacon even adds so much 
No, the bacon has it's a little a bit of It's a mixture of everything, but it's smokiness as well as the ham. This is the, the best split pea soup, split pea soup I have ever had. Yeah. I'm not joking. This is the and like I said, soup. guys, it's inexpensive. It's easy to do. Even if you don't have a ham, buy a couple pounds of ham, cube it up, get a ham bone. Yeah. A bag, uh, what, a pound and a half bag of mm. split peas. And it's either a pound or a pound and a half of yeah. water. Carrots, onions, so I mean, it's not that complicated. And it's pretty healthy. You get a very good wow. blend of, of... This time of year in Wisconsin, the Midwest, it's cold, below zero. Yeah, we have like a storm coming in yeah. tomorrow. You want something hot to warm you from the inside out, this is what you want. Yeah. Mm. This is good. Then use that leftover ham bone. <laughs> I feel bad. I was gonna make some rolls. I totally forgot to thaw them out. So well, we'll, I guess have we'll them be eating leftovers. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna have leftovers for sure. This is very good, though. My goodness. <laughs> As always, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like it, please hit the like button. Oh wait. Oh. Okay. The other thing, I am very glad that you did half of the broth low sodium, because mm -hmm. the sodium we profile. We didn't even add any salt to this. No, the it sodium, the sodium, fine. I was concerned with using all our broth that we have, normal broth, not low sodium, that it was going to be too salty. So we did half of the, no, like you showed. It's fine. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad. I just wanted to point that yeah, out. That's, that's a, a big good, deal. Good point. I didn't mention that. This logo, see it in the bottom of the screen? Click on that to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Sorry, my voice is out of sorts right here. <laughs> Any last words, Kyle? What do you think? I think it's good. It's is just, I, I haven't eaten that much because it's hot. It is hot. But this soup, the flavor, the split peas, mm. inexpensive. You got a leftover ham and a ham bone. Make this recipe. It's a no brainer and it's not complicated. And it's healthy. You're it's full healthy. of vitamins it's and good. good stuff. It's good. It's hearty. It's a classic Americana. Yeah. In my opinion. I agree. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Hit the like button. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. Uh,